Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be discussing about bionic leaf. So in previous class we had discussed about photosynthesis and photovoltaics and uh, light independent and light independent proper uh, you know pathways. Okay. Uh, next topic is bionic leaf. So bionic leaf is nothing but it's an artificial photosynthesis again to convert sunlight into usable again usable form of energy such as hydrogen or other biofuels. So here what is the difference? Here we will be using this particular bionic leaf which is an artificial photosynthesis system which will convert the sunlight into the other forms of energy hydrogen and biofuels. Okay, there it was just a one uh, sunlight into electrical energy or sunlight into again using in, uh, in the help of light independent pathway the electrons which are produced so that we will be using it to convert carbon dioxide into the uh, organic molecules like glucose and all but here the end product will be hydrogen or biofuels basically on energy stuff now the bionic leaf is designed to mimic the process of photosynthesis in plants where light energy is converted uh, is used to split the water molecules that what we saw in the previous class hydrogen will come and our oxygen will get oxygen will act as a byproduct and uh, now here that is here is the catch so this whatever the hydrogen is being produced now that can be used as a source of energy understanding so now the components so there are a lot of components in the bionic uh, leaf which consists to again to convert sunlight into the electric energy uh, you are having a catalyst okay the first thing is photovoltaic cell should be there for what to convert the sunlight into electrical the second thing you need catalyst okay so here catalyst example it can be a bacteria or it can be some enzymes okay we saw in the previous uh, module one the enzyme will act as a catalyst no? either it can be the uh, enzyme or a bacteria so that this bacteria will facilitate the reaction Okay, that uses electrical energy to split water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. That should have a property so that it should split water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. Now, the hydrogen produced by the bionic leaf can be then stored and used for source of energy, for a variety of applications such as powering vehicles or generating electricity. So, here are the main components. Photosynthetic organism, you should have that will act as a bacteria, uh, can be a cyanobacterium or a genetically modified plants that is chlorophyll. What do you mean by genetically modified plants? You are taking the gene of the plant, you are modifying in such a way that for to get what desired property. So, especially to get the property like chlorophyll. Maybe because chlorophyll is responsible for absorption of light. So, we here we need to have photosynthetic uh, device. That means it should absorb the light. Next, light harvesting system. Here, light absorbing dyes can be used. Dyes can be used. Uh, which, which are like having the property of light absorption or semiconductor materials are incorporated. For example, nowadays you can have the nanotechnology has made a wide range of applications including quantum dot solar cells are there where quantum dots are nothing but the cadmium selenide quantum dots example which are having the na size of nanomaterial less than 10 nanometer. So those semiconductor, nano semiconductor material will give you the highest efficiency you, can, you could ever imagine in the in the particular solar cells. So next moving to the catalysts here it can be enzymes or microbes. So enzymes example hydrogenase, nitrogenase. Next electron transfer pathway. So this uh, pathway obviously ensures the electron necessary for the fuel production or other desired chemical transformation. The fifth thing what a component is carbon dioxide source because to sustain photosynthesis you need to have carbon dioxide. So a bionic life requires carbon dioxide. Next energy storage or conversion. Here to capture the uh, and as well as to store chemical energy which is produced during the photosynthesis. Next control and monitoring system. Now to optimize the performance, you need to optimize it. Uh, at once if you do that will not uh, be uh, you know okay. So you need to keep on trying it which is giving you the best result to that you are going to see. That's why it comes under controlling and monitoring. And it will ensure the efficiency operations, monitors various parameters such as a light intensity, temperature, pH, carbon dioxide levels and allows adjustment and optimization of overall processes. Working principle, again here what is the, this thing, artificial photosynthesis mod, means what? It should mimic the process of photosynthesis. It should copy the photosynthesis process what is happening in the plant, right? Next the bionic leaf typically consists of photovoltaic cells that capture the sunlight 
converts it to the electric energy and the catalyst such as bacterium or enzymes that uses electrical energy to split water molecule into the hydrogen and oxygen understanding there here the particular uh, the photovoltaic cell is converting light energy into the electrical energy and the enzymes or a bacteria they are converting the water molecules into the oxy hydrogen and oxygen now this hydrogen can be used as biofuel so that is what workflow it goes sunlight is captured and directed to the bionic leaf now the bionic leaf contains catalyst it can be the enzyme or a bacteria and it will split the water uh, uh, water so here it can be the bacteria which has got ability to split the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen or it can be enzyme which is having a property what a water splitting property next sunlight energy is used to split the water molecule we know that hydrogen will be converted into hydrogen and oxygen through the called photolysis now the hydrogen ions that is which are generated from the water splitting combines with electrons from the external sources to form a hydrogen gas now this gas can be stored as a fuel now the oxygen which is produced from this water splitting water that will be released to the atmosphere as the plant does now the generator hydrogen will be collected and stored it for a clean and renewable energy source right clean and renewable energy you are not you are not using bi conventional biofuels or biodiesels here now the bionic leaf also absorbs the carbon dioxide from air and supplies the source now the absorbed carbon dioxide whatever is in that will be converted into the carbon based compounds such as formic acid methane formic acid methane or through the reduction process now this whatever the absorbed carbon dioxide is you know, there you know, that will be converted into carbon based compounds now the carbon based compounds are nothing but what they are again the natural the uh, you know biofuels like methane ch4 carbon based right so that is and similarly formic acids now the carbon based compounds can be used as a fuel which is converted into the other useful chemicals now that this particular bionic fuel operates in a closed system where uh, the produced oxygen during the water splitting is reused by the catalyst okay subsequent again for example this oxygen no, in plant we are releasing it to the environment here uh, in this particular bionic leaf it is a since it is a closed system the oxygen which are molecules has been produced as a by product will be utilized by by, uh, by the bacteria bacteria will, or what aerobic bacteria they should need uh, oxygen right so for that they will give uh, the, this oxygen can be utilized so applications renewable energy production no need to depend on the conventional uh, uh, by petroleum uh, based uh, fuels carbon dioxide reduction definitely carbon dioxide we are absorbing here so carbon dioxide reduction sustainable chemical production why because here it is a artificial photosynthesis itself so next agriculture and food production definitely because we can also come up with the glucose and other stuffs and remote and off grid areas that means it can be used this particular kind of bionic leaf can be used as a solar cells in remote and off grid areas but not only the solar cell but it acts as it will give you what the you know, bio gases or it, uh, you can say bio fuels so next environmental remediation so it can be used for environmental remediations also so next topic is bird flying that we are going to discuss in the next